All right, gentlemen. Now bring it on. Come on. Frank, we talk about the young up-and-comers, the guys that are certainly making a name for themselves. Anthony Njikawani, this guy has been money. This track has really been just unbelievable. Quick, fast, uh, technical, everything going for him. Uh, and his ground game, I, I still think, is, is really actually underestimated. Uh, you know, obviously, he's improving on that area constantly, you know, but, you know, he, he, he's a 22-0 and 0 Muay Thai artist. Obviously, stand-up will be a strong point for a while. And a stat that your opponent does not want to see, Anthony Njikawani, in the last two fights, KO of the night. The guy has some uh, strong punches coming off. You can't really see he has a right hand or left hand. He hits you hard with the right when he's in an orthodox stance. But he can switch southpaw and fire equally hard with the left hand. And here I think this is a good job of uh, Chris Ordesky. I really feel that he has a, a better chance here of uh, looking for the takedown and trying to expose any weaknesses possibly on the ground by Anthony. Uh, i got to be honest, I've seen Anthony in the gym training here in Vegas and, you know, sparring with different people uh, from our gyms together, uh, you know. His feet, his footwork, and his kicks are unreal. He's fast, he's quick, he's explosive. I don't think there's very many people really want to stand up toe-to-toe -to -toe with this individual and kickbox with Anthony and Jaquani. His last three fights, his lone loss coming from the current interim lightweight champion in Ben Henderson. And Ben Henderson, you know, it was a good war, but obviously yeah. uh, stylistically that's a, that was a bad, you know, uh, you know, Ben Henderson took advantage of the takedowns. He's a superior wrestler and, and got Anthony Njiguane on the ground. But Anthony then, too, again, wasn't like he was completely a fish out of water. He survived for a round and a half, fought off quite a bit of uh, submission attempts, and, and, and Ben Henderson has a relentless pace of ground attack and ground and pound. Chris Horodesky already seeing the signs of going uh, half a round with Anthony Njiguane. He's got blood coming from his lip. Nice left hand, right uppercut. Here he is fighting as a southpaw here. Chris Horodesky in the black trunks. Anthony Njikawani in the green trunks. Horodesky out of Canada. Njikawani now living in the USA. And Chris Horodesky, not a bad striker and not afraid to stand toe to toe with Njikawani. Horodesky is also a very good kickboxer. That's kind of the problem almost in this fight. That's his strength also, is he's a great kickboxer, has great footwork, has great combinations, hits all kinds of angles. But here's a situation where your strength might not be better than your opponent's strength. What do you have to fall back on? And, uh, obviously, Hordeski's yeah. really well coached. Oh! Wow. Oh! Working, and he's going to go to the mount. Looked like Ejikawani was going to go to the mount there for a second. Oh! Hordeski's dropped. Ejikawani is teeing off. I think he just waved it off. I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. I thought Steve Mazzagatti was going to step in and end this. It still could be close to that. That's it. Uh, Steve Mazzagatti has seen enough. Anthony Njikawani gets it done in round number one. I think it's a safe bet to say that he's definitely the running tonight for another knockout award. Wow. You can't put your guard down when you walk away from a guy like that. At this point, it's a competitive fight. Neither guy really, I think, had the edge. But here he's kind of, you know, being cute, walking away. And Anthony Njikawani was not being cute at all. That was a roundhouse right to the face side of his head. And here he just finished him off with some great strikes, really just staying on top of uh, Chris Hordesky, who, you know, that's a great chin that he didn't have his lights completely put out. He took a shot, hands to the side. I mean, wow, very impressive. And that was a mistake on Hordesky's party. You know, this wasn't a sparring match. This was a fight. You never turn your back on a guy like Anthony Njikawani. We come back to the official decision, plus we'll talk with our winner when we return to Vegas. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the Palms Hotel and Casino as we go inside the cage. Joe Martinez has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Three minutes, 33 seconds of round number one. Referee Steve Mazzagatti calls a halt to the, to the bout. For your winner by strikes and TKO victory, Anthony.
the assassin.